Hi everybody. Welcome to this 5 minute stock video on Balkrishna Industries Limited. In this video we'll be talking about a few points that we like and we don't like about this company. Starting with what we like about this company. First, that it is a pure play of highway tire maker. BKT is the leading of highway tire manufacturer in India. Of highway tires are those tires which are put in vehicles that do not run on street roads or highways and are mainly used in the fields of agriculture, mining and construction. Of highway tire is a niche market in India. However, globally it has a lot of demand in the field of agriculture, mining and construction. Next is no direct competition in listed space in India. The major tire manufacturers in India like MRF, Apollo, Seat, JK Tires and Goodyear India are focused on the passenger vehicle segment. Alliance Tire Group ATG, which is now a fully owned subsidiary of the Yokohama Rubber Company, is the only sizable competitor of BKT at the moment. BKT competes with foreign players like Nokian, Cooper, Goodyear, Masa, Michelin, Richstone, and Kutterot. Third, low cost of operations help boost market share. Labor cost in India is very cheap compared to the developed world. This enables BKT to sell its products at about a 10 to 15 percent discount to what other competitors sell in the export market. This has led to having more than 6 percent of the global market share of highway tires. BKT has a target of reaching 10 percent market share in the next four to five years. Fourth is the company's good capital allocation. Bhuj plant was a big project for the company, which it undertook in 2010, and it required a lot of debt on books. However, with a focused strategy to constantly increase production and maintain quality, BKT managed to pay off all the debts in the subsequent years through internal accruals and today it is almost debt free. They have done backward integration and now source 100% of the carbon black requirements in-house. This has led to an increase of 150 basis points in margin and has also lessened dependency on outside parties. Fifth is a large capex plan and sector tailwinds. The company is doing a 1900 CR capex which will be funded by internal accruals and debt if required. Post this brownfield capex, the achievable capacity of the tyre plant will stand at 335,000 metric ton per annum. A new capex in carbon black is also being done due to strong demand for captive consumption. Next part is what we don't like about this company. Starting with its raw material price risk. The cost of rubber consumed accounts for more than 50% of its sales. Thus, variation in rubber prices would certainly affect the financial health of the company. Although the company is able to meet its carbon black requirements internally, there are still many raw materials for which it has to be dependent on outside vendors. Second is the slowdown in global off-highway tyre market. The global off-highway tyre market in the last decade barely grew at 2-3% CAGR. Currently, the demand is upbeat. However, we don't know yet how long it will last. On a higher base, BKT will find it difficult to grow if the market growth tapers. Third is a high concentration in Europe. More than half of the company's sales come from the EU. Thus, the company is vulnerable to any disruption in the European economies, especially in farm activities. They have started expanding in the US and in the Indian market. However, Europe still forms a bulk of their sales currently forming more than 50% of their total revenues, thus posing as a big risk to the company. The last point is a high valuation of the company. The valuation of the company continues to be on the expensive side for the last 3 to 5 years. At the current price, it is trading at close to 30 times TDM earnings, which by no means is cheap. Any earnings setback can reduce the valuation multiples and harm investors' money. With this, we come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching and be sure to like, share and subscribe if you like this video.